It's time for Timothy. Yes, boys and girls, it's time for your favorite mouse and all his wonderful friends. So stay tuned and see how Timothy's in Detective Agency solves the mysterious Great Lunch Robbery. Turn that off, Elmer. That's boring. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like that last piece. I'm back. Let down the rope. Uh, is that you, Tim? Uh, what's the password? Chocolate Sunday. Right. Uh, look out below. Here comes the rope. Uh, 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 uh. Did any new cases come in while I was gone? Are, Are you, you kidding? kidding? If you ask me, Tim, this whole detective business is a bust. Two weeks we've been sitting around here doing nothing. I expected some excitement when I joined up, like tracking down stolen jewels or chasing bank robbers, or at least investigating a few break-ins. The only case we've had so far is your lost lunches. Who cares about your stupid lunches? Hey, man, I do. Can you imagine how hungry I was in school those three afternoons with nothing in my stomach? My insides felt as flat as a dime. And rumble? Did you notice the looks Miss Brooks shot my way? Believe me, it was awful. Big deal. This detective agency is the dumbest idea you ever had, Timothy. Give me the rope. I'm quitting. Wait for me. I'm leaving too. Aw, oh, guys. Something interesting will turn up pretty soon. You'll see. Come on back. Forget it. How about you, Elmer? You coming with us? Well, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay here with old Tim. See you around. Suit yourself. Thanks a lot, Elmer. You're a true blue friend. Jonathan and Ralph will be sorry when our big cases break and we're famous. Sure. Uh, when's that going to be, Timothy? Any day now. I figure our neighborhood must be rolling in mysteries waiting for us to unravel lost dogs, library books, even a little kid or two. All we need is a break. If we can solve just one case, then everyone will come to us with their problems. But first, we've got to get ourselves well known. Here, take the telescope and look down the street. Let me know if you see anything going on. It could be a clue. <laughs> Notice anything promising, Elmer? Not really. Uh, Mrs. Johnson got a new plant in her window, and Jerry Hall's bike got a flat tire. Nothing we can build on. Let's keep looking and try to find out what happened to my lunches. That would give us some clues, wouldn't it? Uh, you got any other ideas? Sort of. I'm going to set a trap for the thief. Tomorrow is Saturday. We'll go down to the schoolyard and put a decoy lunch in the exact spot where my other lunches disappeared. Out by the bicycle rack, okay? Uh, then what? Then we'll hide and watch to see who comes along. That's how real detectives operate. If we're lucky, the thief will return to the scene of his crimes. You want to help, don't you? Uh, might as well. Good. I'll meet you right after breakfast. Bring your bicycle. <laughs> I put my lunch down about three, three, th three feet from the end of the bike rack. Does that look okay to you, Elmer? I don't know. Elmer, you've got to learn to be more observant for detective work. You played ball with me every day before school opened. Didn't you see where I hid my lunch? Oh, uh, yes, th that's about right, Tim. Now to find some cover. Those lilac bushes over there will be perfect. Come on. This is where our real detective work begins. Shh! Don't 
don't wiggle around so much. Did you pack real food, or is this a dummy package, Tim? Real food, of course. Two peanut butter sandwiches and a hard-boiled egg. We gotta do it right. I wish you Hannah told me. All of a sudden, I'm hung hungry clear down to my toes. Be quiet, Elmer. You'll scare away the thief. Uh, but there's nothing to do under here. Besides, the ground is all damp. I'm beginning to feel like a soggy biscuit. Well, think about something you like. Like what? Shh. Elmer, what's wrong with you? Oh, uh, there's a beetle down my back. Uh, oof! Uh, uh, there. Thank goodness he's gone. That's the last straw, Tim. I'm going home. Nobody's going to come and steal your old lunch today. Oh, wait a little longer. Please. Detective work takes a lot of patience. Maybe we should play ball while we think about what we were doing when my lunches were stolen. Maybe the thief is waiting until we leave. Okay, I'll give it ten more minutes, Tim. Only ten minutes. If nothing happens by then, I'm leaving. Shh! What's that? Oh! Oh! Shh! Elmer, be quiet! Oh. What's he doing? Oh, oh. why, look, look at that! He, he's, he's uh, kicking uh, at oh. my lunch! He's got it by the string! He's flying away with it! Hey, you! Come back here with my lunch! I wouldn't have believed this in a million years! Me neither! A crow thief! Imagine that! A crow stole my lunches! Quick, Elmer! Get your bike! Let's follow him and find out where he goes with the package! Looks like he's heading west, Tim! At last we're getting somewhere! We've got ourselves a genuine case! Hurry up, Elmer! on the top of that maple tree, Elmer. Oh, what do we do now? Just wait, I guess. Waiting, waiting. Well, we could wait all day, Tim. Detective work seems awful dull to me. Are you sure real detective life is this exciting? Stop complaining. Hey, he's taking off again. Looks like he's heading for Marble Gate Shopping Center. It's not like Tim and Elmer to disappear. Wonder where they could be. We haven't seen them all morning. I checked in all the usual places. Maybe they really got a detective case. I'm kind of sorry I left yesterday. Maybe they're out snooping right this minute. I doubt it. They probably went home to get something to eat. That Elmer's always eating. They'll be back. I see them, plain as if they were standing right in front of us. In the telescope. Take a look, Jonathan. They're moving like the road runner and looking up in the sky. What do you suppose they're up to? Maybe they found a clue and we're missing out on it. Could be. Let's go after them. Looks like they're riding to toward Marble Gate Shopping Center. If we take the shortcut through Piney Woods, we'll come out at the center the same time they do. Drop the rope over the side, Ralph. I, I've lost him, Tim. Uh, can you still see him? Nope, but I'm sure we'll spot him again soon. I know he was flying in this direction. Let's stand still and watch the sky. We've come too far to give up now. Uh, here he comes, over the bank building. Does he still have the package? Yeah, he sure does. Look at that, Elmer. He's holding the package in his claws. What do you think he'll do with it? Who knows what a bird'll do? He's circling around. 
He's flying lower. He's heading straight toward us. Uh, maybe he's going to bring the package back to you, Tim. Uh-oh. Oh, oh now, now he's turning. He's putting it down on the ledge of the top of the post office. How about that? My lunch on top of the post office building. Weird. What are you boys looking at? Oh, nothing, ma'am. Nothing at all. Kids, always up to no good. Sounds funny to me. Why didn't you tell her, Timothy? Aw, oh, she wouldn't have believed me. Hi! What are you two staring up at in the sky? A new military plane? Maybe some UFOs? <laughs> oh, nothing like that. Just Timothy's lunch. Timothy's lunch? In the sky? <laughs> no, silly. My lunch is on the roof of the post office building. How did it get up there? A big bird dropped it there. Oh, come on, you two. Honest now. How did your lunch get on top of the post office? We're telling you the truth, John. A big crow picked up my lunch from the schoolyard where I had planted it and flew away with it. We tailed him on our bicycles. He flew straight over here into the shopping center. What happened to the crow? Well, he took off again. He disappeared. <laughs> oh, that's the funniest thing I ever heard. Your lunch on top of the post office. How are you going to get it down? Well, we have a couple of ideas. We're talking about how to do it now. In other words, you don't know what to do. Want us to help? Nah, we're doing all right. What are you boys looking at? Oh, I see. There's a small package on the roof of the post office. Wonder how it got up there and what's in it. What is this? Everyone's staring at the sky this morning. I don't see anything unusual. Oh, I see. There's a package on top of the post office. Is that what you're all looking at? What's it doing up there? I didn't notice it earlier. How very odd. <laughs> sure is. Maybe somebody planted a bomb up there. A bomb? How dreadful! A bomb? A bomb! It's not 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 a bomb!
And the police must be wondering. I feel guilty. You feel guilty? For a little accident? How dopey can you get? Come on, Tim, let's go. You'll feel better after we get away from here. Somehow it doesn't seem right to be running away. Phooey! We're being practical. We watched the whole thing from up here, through the telescope. It was super, just like the stuff we see on TV. Mm-hmm, I guess so. You may not be much of a detective, Timothy, but you sure know how to start things up. Maybe I'll rejoin the detective agency after all. Me too. If you want to. Well, what we ought to do is talk to the people in the neighborhood. If we just ask people, they might tell us if they have any mysteries that need solving. Sounds good to me. Uh, how about you, Tim? Tim? I'm going back. I don't feel right about running away like that when I can clear up the mystery. Will you come with me, Elmer? Back me up? We'll talk to that policeman we saw. He might not believe one kid, but two will make him believe we're telling the truth. You'll go with me, won't you, Elmer? Not on your life. I'm scared to go back. All right, then I'll go by myself. I'm scared, too. But I'll feel worse if I don't go. See you later, I hope. Officer! Sir! May I speak to you for a moment? You want something, Sonny? Mm, what is it? I'm pretty busy. I really don't know how to say this, but the package on top of the post office, it belongs to me, sir. You see, there is this big... Crow. You put the package on top of the post office? Well, how in the blue-eyed world did you get it up there? Are you telling me the truth? Hey, Frank, I got a kid here who says he planted the package. Not me, sir. This big bird. And it's not a bomb. It's my lunch! Yeah, never mind what it is. The bomb squad will determine that soon enough. Oh, I certainly hope for your sake it's not explosive. I don't know whether to believe you or not. You better come along with me, Sonny. We'll take a little ride down to headquarters. Uh, Frank, bring around a squad car. Uh, now, don't be frightened. Uh, we'll call your folks just as soon as we get to the station, so uh, they won't be worried. Worried? Who's worried? How did I ever get in this mess anyway? Right now, I wish I'd never thought of playing detective. Captain Pierce, just the way it happened. After the crow put my lunch down on the ledge of the post office, he flew away and I never saw him again. Ah, yes, quite. <coughs> Gosh, that's a bad cough you have, sir. I hope you're taking something for it. Nothing serious, Timothy. Just a touch of laryngitis. <coughs> It'll be all right. Well, now, we appreciate your coming forward with this information. You acted in a responsible manner. That took courage. The report from the bomb squad will be in any minute now. Then we'll talk about what action, if any, we should take. Action? Yes, it's Captain Pierce. This is the police lab, Captain. We have our report on the contents of that package the bomb squad removed from the post office building in Marblegate Shopping Center. Yeah, go ahead. What did you find? Well, two peanut butter sandwiches and a, and a hard-boiled egg, sir. Two peanut butter sandwiches and a hard-boiled egg? <laughs> Thank you, Hardy. Well, I guess you had no trouble disarming that, eh? <laughs> Thank you. That will be all. Well, son, your story checks out. 
As one detective to another, you understand that we must verify all the evidence. Oh, yes, sir, I understand. I sure do. I'll send you home in a squad car, Timothy. But before you leave, how would you like to tour our police laboratory and see how mm -hmm. science and modern technology help us catch criminals today? You might get some ideas you can use in your private investigator work. You mean that? Gosh! Thank you very much, Captain! Timothy, did you find the tour interesting? Oh, yes, sir. I got ever so many ideas. One of the men gave me this magnifying glass and a bottle of powder for dusting fingerprints. I'm going to use them right away. Very good. Well, I've ordered a squad car to take you home. It's waiting at the curb. If there's any way we can be of help to you in your private detective agency, you know where to find us. Our business is to help and protect the public, you know. I sure do. And thanks for everything, Captain Pierce. Uh, may I ask a favor of the driver? Oh, it, it never hurts to ask. What's on your mind, Timothy? Well, on the way home, could the driver swing past the corner of Elm and Central? A and there's a treehouse next to the corner. And, and could he drive real slow as we pass the treehouse? I'd like to wave to some of the guys waiting there. <laughs> I believe that can be arranged, Timothy. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> 